Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 16, Football Manager 20, and we are kicking off our next season here at Lebendorf, and it's 2069 in-game, so the 2069-2070 season. If you're wondering how we're that far ahead, I did sim ahead 30 years at the very beginning of the save, uh, my first save, and then we went ahead however many years in that save, and when I ended that after the Ballatown uh, club, uh, I put in a new manager and just picked up from the same spot. So that's, uh, that's why that is what it is. All right, uh, let's see. So first game of the season, that means we have some transfers to deal with. Let's take a look at the friendlies. I let the uh, assistant manager handle them. And he he scheduled some hard ones and we lost them all, but uh, we did we did uh, score twice on Spartak Moscow, so not bad. And then we beat uh, SC Kalsdorf in the first round of the OFB Cup, uh, a hat trick from Philip Sommer for the first game of the season. Mick Morning with a goal and Marius Blind with a goal as well. A couple of new names there, so let's figure out how they got to the team. <coughs> We have rejected a bunch of loans and transfer offers. But if we look at the transfer history, we have uh, sold 1.6 million in players and we have brought in 275,000. Uh, trying to get the payroll in line to where we could be a little, you know, hopefully closer to profitable. And we've sold some players that I really didn't want to, but sometimes you have to do that. Uh, Merrick Havernick, he goes off on a free. Uh, he was a 19-year-old Czech striker, and I didn't mind him, but he was going to be third or fourth, maybe even fifth option. And honestly, I was looking at it. We were only allowed, and this kind of hit me last year, we are only allowed seven foreign players. So if you're not going to start, I don't think I'm going to keep foreign players that aren't going to be in the regular rotation. So we got rid of him on a free, uh, got him off the books and uh, off the weekly uh, wage bill. Uh, Jamie Quinn was our reserve keeper. He goes to SV Reed. They pay us 110000 which was his value uh, at that time. Uh, again, Scottish reserve keeper. He was good. I was hoping to get a little more. But at the end of the day, it was to get him off the books and open up that foreign spot. And he was not our number one. So we had two foreign keepers. I didn't see the need to plug up the, the you know foreign roster spot with a player that wasn't going to play. This is one that hurt. This is one that hurt. Evgeny Petrov, uh, our, our penalty taker extraordinaire. Uh, the last two seasons, and a very, very good central midfielder. Uh, one of our team leaders as well. Again, he was Belarusian, so not a, not, you know, a foreign roster spot. And we brought in Sturm last year. Remember that? And it was, you know, we were, we were playing Sturm because he was actually a better player. So Petrov wasn't playing quite as much, and I was forcing him in as the, uh, you know, and I was dropping Sturm to Polistaris' spot to try to get him on the pitch. So we were able to move him off, and they paid us 550000 which was a, a nice deal. Uh, Sturm got a bid from Austria Wein uh, for nine hundred and twenty-five, and I couldn't pass it up. I mean, almost a million dollars, and yes, he was our best midfielder, and I, yes, I hate to lose him, and yes, he was Austrian, but all that considered, it was a million dollars, and I couldn't couldn't pass it up. Uh, so that was the two big sales. Uh, Felix Altebaumer was another one of the team leaders, but he was also not playing at all, and he was 33, and he was on a pretty high wage, so we got him off on a free. Marius Forster had uh, gone to a month-to-month uh, -month contract uh, with an expired contract. So uh, Gleisdorf09 came in and picked him up on a free. And then Daniel Meyer, I thought he was going to be playing for us this year. I was thinking he would, uh, but he was far enough down the depth chart that we went ahead and let him go out on loan with all of his salary picked up. 
only 25,000, but still every little bit will help. On the flip side, we did spend some money and then we brought in, after we made some of these sales of our foreign players, we went out and brought loan players in. So uh, Steven Frick is a left back, center back, 23 year old Austrian. And if I find Austrian players that are going to be able to fit in our squad in the first or second team, I'm gonna probably sign them. Uh, they're, they're, uh, <laughs> they're hard to find and they're pretty expensive when you do find them. So, uh, you know, take a look at Sturm. If, you know, that player in England probably would have cost, you know, $5 million, but, you know, 925000 here. So we take some of that money. We drop 99000 on Frick, and he's on 56000 a year on salary. Uh, we go to Rapid Wine and pay 89000 for Marius Blind, another left back, center back, 19-year-old Austrian Valued at sixty-four thousand, and yeah, he's he's missing the pace, but he's he's pretty he's decent. So he's gonna he's gonna be depth, uh, center back and left back, and then uh, Spin Filer comes in from LASK Lens for eighty-one thousand. Uh, he is a left back, right back. He can also move up to the left wing, uh, in the mid. Uh, he's got the pace here, and everything else is at least manageable. Uh, so more depth. He's kind of the replacement for Forster. So that's kind of what I was looking at there. Uh, we brought in Marvin Kern on a free. Now he's French and 24 years old, but he looks really good. So he is likely our new central midfielder, replacing Sturm and Petrov. Uh, so I do like him. And he is a free, so, and, but he is that foreign slot. So, you know, one of my keys here was I think the foreigners, if we're going to sign them, especially, they need to play. Loan, you know, that's a year-to-year -year thing, so those guys come off the books. So we brought in Mick Morning. Uh, he is a 20-year-old English striker, and, yeah, he's not bad, and he probably moves into our top two striker pairing. So, um, you know, he'll be starting or at least first option off the bench. Uh, then we went to Amiens SC and loaned in Ludovic Novillo. He is a 19-year-old French winger, so he's right wing and left wing. Very pacey, great crossing, dribbling. He can even pass the ball without looking foolish. Possibly, possibly our new right winger. And you know our right winger last year was pretty good it was left wing that we we had some issues but this french kid might relegate our austrian right winger to the bench uh fabian ditmar a 21 year old austrian he's on loan center back and he's probably gonna start or at least be a depth option off the bench um and then the last one on loan from austria vine uh, we sold Sturm for 925 and then we loan in Raphael Bernhardt, and he is a midfielder, uh, not quite as talented as the French kid, although maybe better technically, but he can also move out to the left wing. He is left-footed, and he can cross the ball so and pass the ball, so he, he's going to see some action. So, again, that's kind of the new mindset, the new direction I was going in, that, you know, these foreign players, they've either got to be a starter or that they're going to contribute an awful lot. So that's the new players. Uh, so let's get into the matches today. Uh, we are, uh, well, I guess real quick, let's check the season preview. Now, we are picked to finish third. Now, we were down as far as sixth at one point. So we've jumped up to third after all the loan moves and everything. Uh, Ryan Malachik is our key player. So that's good. Uh, Whitman is another key player. So that is what we're looking at here. And let's see. They spent $2.37 million. Wow. Must be nice to have money. Must be nice. All right. Well, anyway, so there's the transfers. Uh, we've got the recently promoted clubs. The relegated club, Football Club Juniors, they're picked to finish ninth, so they must have been really bad. 
Uh, and what's the league above this? Oh, yeah, Tip 3 Bundesliga. Okay, so we would like to get there. On my contract, when we signed the new contract last year, the goal was, or at the end of last season, actually, uh, it was top four again, and now they want us to finish in the top two. So, I don't know. But we're going to give it our best shot. Uh, no interest in me this past off season. Uh, taking a look at that, the club is a three-star national reputation. So three full stars. And if we take a look at my profile, I am two and a half stars. So I'm right in that ballpark. So we probably need to win this league or, or you know, get another half star to a full star before we start garnering any attention from bigger clubs, which is fine. We've only been here for two years, I believe. Yep, this will be our third year. So a fifth and a third. So hopefully we can do something this year and maybe get promoted. But uh, we will give it a shot. We will give it a shot. And I'd like to see Levendorf get a little more active. Bonnie Rig Rose, I got to tell you, they were the most active club in interacting with me. Uh, they retweeted every one of my tweets. So that, you know, that was great. So I'd like to see that, but it is what it is. Let's get to the matches. We are at home against Dornbin 1913. We're playing the same tactics. Uh, I did try moving up to a straight 4-4-2, uh, everything else being the same. And I'm not sure. You know what? I'm going to try that this match, at least here early going. No, not with that one. This is the away tactic. Let's go to the home. Bring him up. All right. So Sommer, morning, the new striker from England. Uh, we do have Baum on the left side, and he is a 21-year-old Austrian. Didn't play much for us last year. Bernhardt in the middle, Polisteris in there as well. And then Grima was our right winger, and we've got Navillo in there. That's the young French kid. So uh, Grima's gone to the bench. And then we've got Heinrich, Malachik, Whitman, and Dittmar. So Whitman is under contract to us. Dittmar's on loan, so we did pick him up late. Uh, of course, we had a starting center back on loan last year. Fitzpatrick will be back in goal, and then Fillinger is a 17-year-old. He's on our B team, uh, but he will be our reserve keeper. Uh, we just kept that so we didn't tie up a foreign spot. And if we look at our squad registration, so we're back up to seven foreign players, but four of those are on loan, and we've got 41 players total registered. So hopefully we're good. And then on medical, we still have a medical issue. Uh, Ethan Gilroy, who is uh, the left winger that was really solid last year, looked really good, broke his leg, and he missed quite a bit of last season. So he is still out and he will not return until probably the beginning of November for, for training. So I think we end up putting him maybe even into the B, B squad for maybe a month because he's going to have missed almost a full year. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's get out of here. Back to our roster. There we are. All right, so we'll submit the team. And, of course, that leaves Clark uh, on, you know, coming off the bench possibly. Yep, there's Clark and Vites, uh, Weigel, uh, who scored quite a bit last year. But those guys now go to the bench. So I think our, I think our striker core is actually deeper. Uh, I'm a little worried about our central midfield. Um, you know, I mean, we got rid of two of our best players. So it's, uh, you know, and of course, I won't know what the what the penalty taking situation is until we have one. So uh, last year, of course, with Petrov, it was, you know, it was a done deal. Uh, hopefully we are able to. Oh, nice poach by Baum there. Get rid of it. Oh, taken down in the box, and oh, we're going to see a penalty just seven minutes into the season. 
Sebastian, no, who's taking it? Who is taking it? It's Heinrich, our left back. Ooh, he put that one in nicely. Are we going to miss Petrov? I don't know. Hold on, Heinrich. What's his penalty taking? It's 10. Okay, could be better, but at least it's double digits, right? But we're up 1-0. Good job. Penalty in the eighth minute. We will take it. That was a good drive by Baum as well. Picking that ball off. Good defense. Bernhardt drives it in. Polisteris is there. Oh, nice header down. Navillo. Mick Morning, the striker. Nice assist with the with the drop header. Right to Navillo's feet. That is the young Frenchman, so he's making a debut goal. Very nice. Whitman's already complacent. Uh, demand more. Let's see. If, oh, pressured. Well, better than being complacent, I suppose. Bernhardt. Uh-oh, they've got a counter opportunity here. Godel out on the run. He's got to hold it up. And then he just kind of lumps it forward. Heinrich is there. Bernhardt. Oh, beautiful ball out to Navillo on the right. He's in the box. He breaks through the tackle, and Morning was going to have a shot there, and they just clear the ball out of play to get their bearings. Oh, we've got them under pressure here, boys. All right. Yeah, let's give him some praise here for the last 10 minutes of the half. Whitman is complacent again. Complacency is the one I'm not really sure how to get rid of. Ooh, that one goes wide. Bachman is going to get there. The center back didn't move. Oh, good interception by our midfielder. And you know what? That's going to be a nice half. Can we sneak another one here? No. Not in the least. Bernhardt. Well, hurry up. Oh, what a shot by Heinrich. Yeah. Wow. And he's a left back. That was a nice shot. Second goal of the season. That's a first half brace. Let's watch that again. He's got the ball. Drops it off. Heinrich breaks it into the box. Couple of touches. Yeah. And just finds a clear shot into the far post. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Uh, excellent efforts, no cards. Um, you, uh, let's get aggressive. Um, passionate. I don't want him to be complacent. I'm trying to see if there's anything for complacency. Calm down, maybe? Seemed confused. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with the other guy. I don't know how to get rid of complacency. I have no idea. All right, Bernhardt is at 76%. We're going to sub him off first. All right, let's go ahead and make that move. Mid-center, we can bring in Kern. Kern is a 24-year-old Frenchman. Four-star potential. All right. And Bernhardt is an Austrian on loan. So, yeah, there's something about... When I looked at the numbers last year, there was something about... We got like $50,000 for where we finished in the table. But we ended up with like $3 million in... in, in, in prize money basically and I think that goes to that money that you get every couple of weeks or whatever for having a certain number of Austrian players in the lineup uh, so that's one reason I went heavy after Austrian players was just to to make sure I had that sewn up uh, let's see Mick Morning you know what let's bring Weigel in for Morning has an assist. Let's bring him in for 
Sommer. Sommer's going to be our top goal scorer, so we want we want to rest him when we can. You know, we'd like to maybe have, you know, have a goal from him, but all right, Whitman, set piece into the box. There's a header, and it dribbles in. Demos Palesteris, his first goal of the season. 4 nothing. That was a chintzy goal, it looked like. Looks like Morning got the header on it. Bounced around, and Palesteris just got a toe on it. That's all you can ask. Ah, Benjamin Crawl, his first goal. And of course it's on a set piece. It couldn't help but be on a set piece, could it? Oh, just a clean header, beats Fitzpatrick. All right, let's drop a um, Malachick defensive right. Let's move Heinrich over to the other side, and then we can bring Stefan Frick. Let's bring him in. All right, Novillo, Novillo finds Kern. There's a nice ball into Novillo. Back post, Andreas Baum. There's the first midfielder goal from our replacement central mid no he's the left yeah that's the that's the guy on the left okay a couple of these new guys i'm still trying to figure out five one though pretty happy with this right all right let's go to uh balance just to slow it down a little bit whitman's gonna plow a corner in there's a header and johans weigel gets his first goal of the season that is a thing of beauty. Nice header off the corner set. Don't think anybody was picking a 6-1 win, right? 21 shots to 2. Dominated possession. 12-1 to one on corners. Excellent, excellent work. Very happy. Very, very happy. And a plus five goal differential right out of the gate. Now, only a couple of teams have played thus far, but that is okay. Dittmar impresses in his debut. Navillo, one goal, one assist, so we will tail him. He had a great game. And who's checking us out? Keeping a close eye on Malachek. Yeah, whatever. And Frank Heinrich, training. Uh, we're going to be assertive and jump into him a little bit. All right, we will be back for the, well, I'll tell you what. With the transfer, we went 23 minutes. So it's not uncommon for us to only do one match. Let's end it there. Uh, where do we come back at? I think we come back pretty quickly. A couple of these teams, let's see. Who got promoted? Season preview. All right, so it's Viner Sports Club, Vort, Vorwarts, and Dornburn. All right, so Dornburn we just played. Viner Sports, Vorwarts. Do we come back for that? Maybe we come back here for Austria, Lustenau, and Vorwarts. See another one of the new clubs. That gives us two more games. And then we'll try to catch LASK Lens later in the season for sure. Because they'll probably be near the top of the table. Guys, hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Do all that YouTube stuff that you do. You know how to do all that. I do appreciate you checking out another episode. And uh, hope to see you back out here next episode tomorrow. Take care. Bye.